Hi, welcome back to Best Drink Recipes. I'm Eli Mountjoy, and now we are going to make a rendition of the classic old fashioned. And we're gonna do that with our Barrel Reserve Gin. This is a very special gin that we just reviewed. And this has been aged in a hand charred French oak barrel, aged in there for seven or nine months. So to, do, to celebrate that, we thought that we would make the classic drink that you make with most whiskeys, which is the old fashioned. And the finer the whiskey, the better old fashioned. But only we're gonna put a little spin on it and put honey instead of simple syrup or a sugar cube. We're gonna build this in our glass, our double rocks glass, if you will. And we're going to use two ounces of our barrel reserve gin. And we're going to do two dashes of our Angostura. We're going to use a quarter ounce of our honey syrup. Now honey syrup is different than just honey. It's not like we're putting honey in. If you did that, it's too much, it's too sweet. Honey syrup is like simple syrup. It's one to one, a one to one ratio of honey and water by volume, not by weight, in case you wanted to get super scientific and nerdy about that. So we're going to put in first a quarter ounce of our honey syrup into our double rocks, just like that followed by our double dash of Ango. One, two. Perfect. And now, the golden ratio. The barrel reserve. Two ounces. Two beautiful succulent ounces. There we go. Now, before we add any ice or anything, we're gonna stir this now. It's called leveling. And that's basically because the honey and the bitters are going to bind better, or say more quickly, at room temperature than if it's chilled. So we'll just give this a good couple of 10, 12, 15 stirs. And then once we have that, we're going to add the ice. Here we have one single cube. If you have multiple cubes, that's fine. Just be aware that the more you stir, the quicker it's going to dilute and the easier it will be to bruise i.e. over dilute. So just be careful about that. Taste it as you go. Make sure you don't water it down too much. It's easy to do. We're going to ease this in. Beautiful. Now let's just go ahead and stir this. Now, if you're building this at home for friends or family or if you're at the bar, this is the perfect opportunity for you to tell the joke you've been working on for the last month and be the star of the show because this is a show. This is a performance. If you wanted to just drink it by yourself, that's fine, but everybody knows that wine tastes better when it's poured by somebody else for you. This drink tastes better when you have a little bit of a show. That's why people love flames and stuff like that. Wow, it's a show. This is no exception. So we're not gonna get in there and stir this like we're witches around a cauldron. We're going to have an elegance about this. It's a refinement. We're telling a story, whether or not we're actually telling a story. This is un unraveling and revealing itself before whoever your audience is, even if it's just yourself. Have a little self-respect. Let's taste it. That's nice, we're there. That didn't take long, did it? Now, in honor and reverence of this incredible spirit and cocktail, we're going to use both an orange and a lemon. So first, we'll express the one and if this were in a coupe, you've seen us do it before, you go on the outside, then on the stem and the foot. On here, we're going to go on the inside of the rim because that's where you're gonna be drinking it from. So we'll put the first one there, followed by our lemon. Expressing the oils always, all along the inside, kind of like all along the watchtower. Rest that in there neatly, just like that. And there you have the beautiful uh, beehive barrel reserve old-fashioned made with honey now if you'd like to see the review that we did of the beehive barrel reserve gin you can find that right here or if you'd like to see another cocktail that we made you can find that right there and while you're doing that I'm going to have a little taste here thank you very much delightful not too sweet and definitely complimentary of uh, like a whiskey Really nice. Highly recommended. Also recommended to watch the review there, or another cocktail right up there. Double cheers. Mm. 
I'll be finishing this. And thank you for watching. If you guys would like to subscribe or comment, we'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, we here at Best Drink Recipes are always interested in uh, what we could be doing better or what you're appreciative of, so thank you for that. I'm Elia Mountjoy, and we thank you guys for watching, and look forward to seeing you guys at the next drink.